I just focused a lot on being in good health. So, like I stopped drinking <laughs> and I started exercising more. Uh, also, you know, we have to get two letters of recommendation. So I was working on that. I was talking to a few therapists. And so they asked me a lot of good questions, you know, about my support structure or what are my expectations from the surgery. So I feel like I took a lot of time to um, just sort of like condition my mind and body because I knew it's going to be a challenging experience. Uh, also like talking to my family so that you know they are comfortable with the process because you know for them it's, it, it was like a big, they are fully supportive of my transition but at the same time surgeries do you know sort of scare them a bit. So you know also helping my family prepare for it um, and um, yeah pretty much that like um, arranging the visa, tickets, just like a lot of logistics to actually get here and do the surgery. So I felt like I had a lot of time but also a lot of things to like, you know, do to get here. But it all worked out well. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because I feel like there was so much preparation uh, that on the day of surgery, I was actually feeling pretty calm. Also because I think, uh, at least for me, going on the liquid diet and the whole prep sort of like clears your mind and your body a lot. So on the day of the surgery I felt like really very empty, you know, I felt very calm and quiet. I think the only time I got a little bit anxious was once I was in the clinic and just before going into the surgery, you know, because it's like a big moment. But pretty much like the whole day I felt pretty good actually. I think you you feel at ease, but also at the same time, you know that yeah, it's uh, uh, that yeah, like you know the results depend a lot on your body, on you know how you are. So you also have like realistic expectations. I think I think that that really helps as well. At least it helped me a lot.